Hi, Jeff Lawton here, and I, I'm out in the food forest early in the morning, and we're, we're going through a big chop and drop cut here. These food forests have been let go a little bit, and they need a bit of extra maintenance. We're using hand tools, but we're also using power tools, and sometimes we have to use really big, powerful tools like bulldozers to do earthworks, and sometimes we use chainsaws and motorized machines to do all kinds of maintenance. And I remember working with Bill and someone questioning Bill about this and saying, well, how's it sustainable if you're using, you know, petrol machines and, and, and diesel big driven machines and, and large equipment? How can that possibly be something that's indefinitely sustainable? And Bill turned around and he said, well, look, it's about the energy that you put in to create a system and how long that energy is extended by the life of the system. If we have to repair this earth quickly, if we have to bring it back into balance and we use machinery, the energy of manufacture of that machine and the maintenance of that machine over its lifetime extended by the systems that we install which in our case goes on indefinitely it's permanence so putting a little bit of energy in significantly small amount of energy compared to the extension of time of your systems with all intention our systems go on indefinitely this is permanence these trees will live for hundreds, some up to a thousand years, and be productive. But they will go on and self-replicate with very small amounts of hand tool and physical maintenance with low embodied energy input. They don't need large machinery. They don't need large inputs over their lifetime. And their lifetime is indefinite. It's permanent. So we can use machinery to kickstart things, to get things going faster, to get something moving. Particularly now, we have incredible appropriate technology that can achieve these tasks. So let's get on with it. And that was a great lesson from Bill because we don't need to be subjective about this. We need to be objective about the tasks we have at hand. That's what we're doing. We're getting on with the job.